hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is Tosin and in this video i'm going to be telling you a few things you should must or you want to know before coming to the olabisi on Obanjo university so right now in school i've actually started my um, end of semester exams i don't know why it's just so impressed in my heart to make this video probably for someone who is confused doesn't know a lot about oh yeah and it's like what's this what is this what is this well i'm here for you and when I was when I wanted to um, come into OU, I didn't really get a lot of information. I didn't get a lot of information concerning concerning the school. God just helped, Sha. God just helped me. Yes, I was coming to school. I came physically a um, number of times. I made inquiry. I was checking online, but there are not so many materials about what I wanted to know. Yeah. So let's get right into the video. Number one. Thing. Um, Olabisi Onobanjo University is a state-owned university and was previously um, known as Ogun State University but now it is called Olabisi Onobanjo University. It is located in Ogun State, that's Agoway. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. The second point you want to know, Olabisi Onobanjo University is a, runs a multi-campus multi -campus system. That is, um, all the faculties, departments are not in one location. They are not in one location. So we have the main campus in Agorwe. Then we have another campus for the medical students in Shagam. Then we have another campus in Ibogun. They are all still in Ogun State. We have another campus in Ibogun for engineering students. Then we have the um, Ayetoro campus for agricultural students. Then we also have the mini campus. That is very. That one is very close to the main campus. It is, it is still in Agawe. Um, yeah, that's the main campus. So basically, you do your 100 level in the main campus. Then from your 200 level upward, you go to um, the campus where they do your course go to that campus but i know about biochemistry for biochemistry students you um after 100 level you still say 200 level at the main campus before you then go to shagam to complete your education number three key point to note is that in the main campus in agawi you have the option to either stay in the school hostel or you stay outside the school that is you can stay on campus or off campus so um on campus we have about we have sikamo hostel for male and female then we have ventures hostel for only females then we have beaver hostel for male and female for beaver hostel they kind of have like a um, section in they have what they call end suits and they call and then standard end suits has like Going into detail and suit has like bedroom the kitchen inside the room inside and that compartment in the room in for end suits you and your there are four in the room by the way um you and your roommates share a kitchen bedroom and toilet while for the standard you share bedroom um kitchen and toilet with your hallmates yeah it's like a large a large room, room for that then in Sikamo hostel I already mentioned Sikamo but I didn't go into detail in Sikamo hostel they don't have their kitchen in the room so they have just the bedroom and toilet in the room in another compartment obviously <laughs> then they have the kitchen in like a corner up in a section in their hall then for the ventures hostel they, they have neither kitchen or bedroom inside the room then we have the deaf hostel the deaf hostel is for just boys then you can um, stay off campus when you come for like registration and stuff you will see people share like flyers like posters of hostels um, outside the like, um, accommodation fourth number four point to note is that when you resume like in 100 level for 100 and 200 level you first start to write your exam using the um, computer based test that's a CBT so you get like multiple choice questions for 100 and 200 level that's how you write your exams depending on your faculty though or your department I don't think faculty of law goes with that but for 100 and 200 level you'll be doing general Nigerian studies called GNS so it's a general course for everybody in the university in one way or the other you'll be able to write the computer based test that is CBT so for science department we write yeah I'm science department <laughs> Where for 120 level you do computer based test so you go to the ICT 
to write to um take your exams your test you go to the ICT unless because um, sometime in hundred level and sometime in two hundred level some lecturers gave us physical like a physical test and not we didn't go to the ICT to do that so depending on your lecturer depending but one way or the other you get to like, do your exam in the ICT center number of times I've been talking for a while I think this is the time for you to subscribe the fifth point to note before coming to Olabisi Onobanjo University is that oh it takes registration quite seriously you receive people do like first verification second verification third verification any verification they say you should do any document they say you should bring just do it just it might be stressful it might be time consuming it might consume your money but just just see to so avoid stories that such the heart just do it i hear a lot of people saying they are not doing their medicals it's part of the verification process they're not doing their medicals till they're in 300 level <laughs> you are joking with your life you are joking you are playing do that don't do that any registration they say is to do faculty registration departmental registration submit a form write your name somewhere Submit to passport. Feel a fuck. Do it. Just, just do. See. Just. You might not be able to relate to what I'm seeing right now because it's like. But just do it. Just do it. Once you um, see anything registration, or oh, they say you should do this registration, your level, your department, your course, ID card, health, anything they say they say they ask you to do. Just do it. You get me. You get me. Go see. I didn't tell you. So let's go to the sixth thing on my list. If I don't, if I don't add this to my list, a lot of people that attend, oh, you'll be like, Tosin, there's something you didn't add that they need to know. So I'm informing you now. So you will not say Tosin to not tell us. The sun here is quite harsh. The sun here is very harsh. So in 100 level, I used to use mostly like face caps, but it, it didn't really work. Sure, like probably my outfit does not really go with face cap that day, so I'm not able to use it and all and when i see people with umbrella i'm like ah, wow this one's using umbrella under the sun i didn't get it but when i got to 200 level guy my skin felt and i got very dark it's the glory of god that's making me to glow right now what i'm trying to say basically is that the sun here is very harsh so if you have like sunscreen sunshade umbrella face cap things to shield you from the sun and you don't want to be going through all your stress and sun is still beating you trust me that is not a good place to be the next point to note is that on campus um, there is like a chapel for christians to attend which is called chapel of the abundant life chapel of the abundant life so that's like the school church so it is on campus also so probably you're coming is a multi um, multi-denominational um church so it's not for redeem winners it's for like everybody christian that's like the major um church provision for students on campus we have ovcf we have rcf and others off campus but for if you're staying on on campus and even if you're not staying on campus you can um fellowship at chapel of the abundant life so just to get familiar out you can check chapel's instagram page chapel's instagram page at chapel of the abundant life you understand then there's also a mosque on campus it's still around the same location of the chapel for Muslims. All right. So another point to note is that on campus there is provision for transportation. So there's like a school park. From the school park you can enter to like various locations. Then there's also Marua to commit inside the school. Okay. So that is all for this video. If there's any other questions that you have that you would like me to make a video on, please drop it in the comment section. All right. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I upload a new video, you get to see it. And also turn on the notification bell. It is just by the right of the subscribe. Bye. See you. Catch you later. Congratulations and welcome to OOU. Oh, oh,